I've been a gardener all my life and it was very easy for me to identify plants because I only buy one or two new plants in a month. Now I sometimes buy a hundred different varieties of plants in one month. I now have hundreds if not thousands of succulent varieties with different names. I've been making YouTube videos on succulents for the last six years. I often get comments on how amazing it is that I can remember all these different names. I can because of labels. Without them, I would be lost. Over the years, I've tried using different labels and markers to label my plants. In this video, I'd like to show you the cheapest and best plant label and markers that are waterproof and UV resistant. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. This is a bucket full of discarded labels. So this is what I've been using all these years. They come in a pack of 30 plastic plant marker for $2.50. And there's also other ones that I bought in the past from my local hardware store. The straight ones like this. This one still got some names on it. But over the years, this one has already faded out. And also, this is a little bit bent, as you can see, because that is already crumbly and falling apart. Not very good at all. Now, this one is still holding firm. But the problem with this one, you can see the difference of how it has faded, like those ones. So this has only been out in the sun for a few months and so this is sort of the backside of the plant where I put it in my pot and that is the front side where the sun is hitting it and you can see the difference. This is only about four months and this one has been a bit longer but you can see that the label is starting to disappear and eventually it will end up like this and worse like this ones so even this one this is a skinnier one but it's the same story this one's has already faded and i can't work out what it is so that's why i make sure i label the back as well now this one you can see that that's already corroded as well so because it's quite thin so this ones i was supposed to recycle them but now I decided I am not going to use this one. I have retired them. And this is what's left over. I can use this to label indoors but not outdoors. But what do I use now? I got hold of this from a local recycling place. They charged me $5 for it. You can get thousands of labels out of this. What I do is, of course, cut it all off like this. So cut the... And now I'm left with some Venetian <laughs> blinds that I have to cut off the middle bit there. Because it's holding on to... There you go. Now, the good thing about this is that it will not corrode. So first, after cutting it off or cutting it away from the other blinds, I like to wipe it down with a wet cloth just to remove the dust. Now it's all nice and clean and dry. So I'm just going to cut it in sections. Oh, by the way, yeah, this is a heavy duty scissor. But you can use ordinary scissor only you can't do it in bulk like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, okay, and I've got a container here to put them in. And what I like to do, see the edges is quite rounded, so I like to round it up, but I'm not going to give my scissor a hard time, so I'm just going to do it in three or four, two and a half inches long. So you can have it in different sizes, but what I like to do is grab hold of that and here and I got a container here so that way the little bits of metal doesn't flick over all over the place 
and that way hubby doesn't step on it and cut himself so that's now nice and rounded on the edges and from the bottom what i like to do is there you go taper that down so now i've got some labels ready to use so you can have different sizes this is what i've said a while ago but anyway so that one is good enough now So in the past, I have been using all these permanent markers. So I've got a Kmart one, metallic marker for black pots. And I've got a black marker, Sharpie permanent marker, fine point. And that one is permanent marker, Sharpie gold. Permanent marker, Noteworks. I don't know where I got this one, but... They're supposed to be all permanent and I also have a big one which is a permanent marker as well and permanent marker 4x4 grip. Okay, and all of this and also this one, Artline High Performance, it says permanent marker waterproof, instant drying and that's what I've been using and what happened is they don't stipulate that it's UV resistant. So when looking for this permanent markers like this one then you have to look for something with UV resistance so this one I haven't used this one before but this is also from Artline and there's a black version of this which is also a gardener's marker is what it's called but it doesn't say UV resistant so if it doesn't say UV resistant so you should stay away from that because it will just fade so this one now I am going to try this on my other pots just to be fancy because for the past two years I've only been using my Milwaukee inks all fine point but this is a permanent marker as well and this one i find takes longer to fade compared to say the art line here or those other ones here so that one the note works permanent marker it's not permanent it just fades away in no time and this one has lasted the longest and this one is for black pots is what i use permanent marker and instant white uh, and this one actually lasts the longest so say for example even on ceramic pots like this you can write it here and say succulent i am writing sideways there you go and with the heart and that will actually last so far the longest so when it dries you actually have to scrape it off you see that to remove it so this has surpassed or lasted longer than my black marker here so it says pica permanent marker so i really really love this one for uh, black pots so if i want to use this one for my plastic labels here that will eventually corrode after a couple of years it will just fall apart then if it's exposed to the sun but if you have it in the shade it will last longer so this one says succulent and i use this one as well for writing on the leaves of the succulent so say for example i've got some maxwell i think this is sedivaria maxwell but anyway lawi and sedum clavatum so now this is quite sort of a medium sized leaf i would call this about an inch and it's got farina so you can remove the farina and write there you go so now i've got maxwell written on that leaf so for our aluminium curtain blinds now if i say lawi it's just so easy and you can see it clear as day so easy to write as well i normally write from the front and the back and also in the bottom that's the one that's going in the soil so that way if the other one fades still has label or name that i can refer to so with the aluminium now there's also another marker that i use that doesn't fade and it is the cheapest of them all so this is pencil i have two types of pencil here that i use pencil one 
is a 2H pencil. 2H is too hard. <laughs> so if it says 4H, it's harder than 2H. Now, when you're using a 2H, then you can write easily on your label. So say, for example, I'm going to write succulent. There you go. Can you see it? Okay, so that is the 2H. Now, my favorite one to use, now this is a 6B. So say, for example, a 2B is dark, 4B is darker, and 6B is darkest. So H is for hard, and B is for black, basically. That's what it is. So now I've written that with 2H. I think we better put 2H. And this one as well, using a lead pencil, that is. It will last a long time. I have a few labels that's already a couple of years old and they still as fresh as the day I wrote on it. And this one I'll write succulent. 6B. So that is the difference of the labeling. So with this one as well, with pencil, I don't like using, well, actually, I haven't tried this actually. So now you get to see this. See if it will leave a mark on our Maxwell. There you go. Max. Oh, yes. Look at that. Beautiful. But sort of. A little bit faint so you have to decode it once it dries up a little bit I don't know if it's still gonna stay so I prefer to use a 6b because I can see it especially if I'm doing my videos or even from a distance I don't have to remove the label and take a look and say oh what is that I wrote oh I wrote see it's very faint so there's a 2h succulent and the 6b look even from far far away I can still read it permanency if I rub this can you see okay they will both come off but the 6b has been rubbed off much faster than the 2h so the 2h you could still I could still work out what sort of what does it say suck <laughs> l u something l e n t 2h but this one in the middle you can see that okay let's rub that on the edge there you go so the succulent for, for the 6b is all gone baby gone but expose to the element if you don't rub it off then it will be fine but now this one so 2h is much better but there's even a better rur if you want a more permanent one this one I like to write in the bottom somewhere hidden so if I write succulent this is like scoring oopsie I can't spell succulent anymore okay there you go if I rub it you can still see that that's it will never ever be oh well put it this way you will never lose it so let's get let's go scribe you just have to write harder but <laughs> so this is a metal scribe tool that I use for my gemstones or writing on stones when I cut them and you can this is also best for using on labeling your succulents when you're using an aluminum or aluminium blind so at the back here let's go scribe Because you're actually etching it see can you see the and it will never ever rub off so you can still see there you go scribe written on it so now whichever one you use it's up to you now whether you use plastic or metal or aluminium or you can use plastic containers like this is this is from my butter container you can cut it up okay I'm just gonna cut this up this is also good for labeling your succulents 
There you go, we'll do triangle. So that way we can use our 6B succulent, very easy, or you can use the 2H, it says succulent, or my ink saw. So this, the metal scribe doesn't work on the plastic, so stay away from the scribe. So that's all for our recycled plastic. You can use those three, or you can also use this one. And this is just my butter uh, container. So let's go. Okay, so this is what I don't like about them. <laughs> anyway, it says, writes on plastic card leaves and plant material waterproof okay it's coming through now i think so i think i might have to wait a little bit there you go it's finally coming out there you go so now let's go succulent oopsie i can't spell succulent so there you go folks that's all there is for this video so now this one is also uv resistant so maybe i will try this on my other Metal labels. Jim no calisium meha no vichia. It's quite a long name. I can't see it. So there you go. You can. But anyway, I would prefer to use. So this is my favorite. Jim no calisium meha no vichia. Cactus. There's another name for it, but I can't remember. There you go. And you can also write in the bottom. So, Gymno Cactus. Write in the back. Cactus. Cactus. There you go, folks. That's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'm able to share with you which labels you're going to be using. Either you use all of them or one of them. It's all up to you. But for me... This is my tools of the trade or what I use for labeling my precious succulents. If you can't get hold of aluminium blinds, what I recommend using as well are recycled plastic. So this is from a microwavable spaghetti. This one is container for lasagna. We've got double thick custard inside is all white just cut it up also ice cream containers doesn't matter what color you can use it as labeler but this one is really good uh, to use with the white marker which is succulent or the 6b pencil so let's go succulent there you go can't write there you go so it's still you can still see it or a texture now also coffee products this is actually a coffee creamer so if you remove the plastic you will be presented with some white plastic which is actually hard this is actually very hard so ideal to use for labels for your succulents and this one will not corrode uh, for a long time you still I think you will get at least two years of labels for that one and also pancake container but this one that would only last for about three four months I would say the Sun will just eat that up and dish washing plastics you can also use it for okay just making a noise <laughs> as labels for your plants